Hello everyone and welcome to another Yukon UPDC construction project update. My name is Lugat and today is November 23rd, 2019. We are on the new Athletic District Development Project. This will be our fifth video of the series and we'll be taking you through progress since our last update. Today is December 3rd, 2019 and it took today's Northeaster snowstorm to give me the opportunity to edit and post this video it was taken on November 23rd. Good thing, the field is now covered in snow. And there it is complete, the goal met, which was to finish the field before Thanksgiving. So it had a chance to sit in March 14th, opening day for us, we would be ready to go. We're gonna now spin around the perimeter to get a good look, here we are. And the different colors of the turf simulate the look as if the lawnmower had gone over, awesome. We're spinning over our performance center in this section right in through here. We're gonna focus on the area to the right here, this dirt section is gonna be our plaza, our tie into the concession in the two fields. How bright the colors on the field. Everything complete, it's the third base dugout we're flying over there, our press box is under construction through here, the lights are installed, our grass has been installed. Some areas are coming along quite nicely. The right field line or the right field foul post is in. The scoreboard, there you have it. Our uh, batter's eye, that's not complete. You see in the back, it will be by opening day, again, March 14th. We spin around, we're gonna take your boots on the ground to our bullpen area, which will give us a great opportunity to show you the different stages of construction for the AstroTurf through here. And there it is, the Performance Center. And that's the feature here, is to be able to come right from the locker rooms to the fields. No longer walking all the way back um, from main campus to get uh, to the fields through here. And lastly, on this rotational view, looking back at the field, you know, there is our Husky emblem through there, the infield, incredible. We're now flying on the east side of the building, bathrooms all the way to the left, then the concession stand in there, the corridor we're going to take you down through here, these large trusses for our batting lanes in there, our indoor batting lanes, incredible, three lanes in through here. This section right in through here is going to be some storage rooms, equipment centers down in through here. And this last section of the building up to the north will be our strength and fitness and another set of bathrooms up and through there. So we're actually flying right over the soccer field through here. You can see the sauna tubes, the bleachers will be right up against the building in this section right in through here. So most of the construction is brick, there's some block, and then there's some studs that back it up in through here. The top row, there's going to be windows right in this section. We'll take you and show you that. The bleachers come right up against the building. The yellow is our vapor barrier. We're getting ready to pour these slabs right in this section, right in through here. Our strength and fitness center, we're going to take you down and show you that. And again, our bathrooms on the end of the building. Work in progress over here. This will be our practice soccer field to the right. The final project to finish is the softball field to the left-hand side. That's playable right now. It's the last end of our project next year. The softball field gets turned around. But what a great time to fly over the softball field here. Sonner tubes over here to the west. The road was just about in the location it was previously because of all the utilities that are underneath there. The performance center, again with the sauna tubes for the bleacher. And we're going to finish up with an amazing look at our brand new baseball field. Boots on the ground, we showed you in the overhead. Again, words can't describe this fantastic new field. The AstroTurf completed. Unbelievable. We're standing behind home plate. We saw in the overhead our Yukon emblem here. The bold white lines no longer have to be replaced. Lime put out pre games. Here they are, permanent. The home plate box area, the three different colors of turf, the lawn cut pattern, the darker and lighter greens. 
the infield, the baseline, this grayer color, I mean this brown color in through here. Incredible. Clean, crisp, maintenance free, early season play, late fall, straight lines, foul line poles in, the scoreboard, our batter's eye, we call the batter's eye, and that's to give the same background for the baseball as it's coming in through the pitcher. That's not quite completed yet. The goal here, we talked about in the overhead, was to get the turf installed before winter set in so in spring they can come right out here and play. Some of the incidentals, the fencing, the bullpens we're going to take you down through there. They're finishing up right in through here. But our protective screening is in, all our lights are in, we talked about that. The dugouts, 90%, all the concrete. The only thing that's missing is our post and rails. There's the same barricade netting that goes on in through here. We'll take a closer look at the dugouts. Awesome, okay. So there'll be a post and screen in here. They'll be visible in through here. Sets of stairs that come down into here. I'm gonna come around from the back and explain what we have. So your ball player, you come in here. There'll be bench seats up against the wall in through here. A little bit of a step back from the playing field. You want to get bird's eye, you want to be right on the field. There'll be another row of benches, benches, excuse me, in this section right in here. You'll be able to come right up, sit. There'll be this netting right in front of you to protect you right in through here. Talk about a bird's eye view on home plate. Again, more benches to the back. Another set of benches right up in through here. You're coming up to bat, up the stairs. And there you go. You know, a look from, this is the visitor's dugout, same in the home dugout over there. Each, dug, each dugout comes with a bathroom and a uh, equipment storage area over and through there. You know, how awesome is that? Right, right in your dugout. Pitcher's mound, awesome. Incorporated some electrical outlets for the pitching machines behind it. You can't even see them when you're at bat. The sea behind the mound. This is concrete made up structure underneath the padding in the turf here. The rubber is permanent, solid. Stays, no more footing holes changed for each individual pitcher. Come to find out, uh, the pitchers actually like this configuration. Gives them a good push off, very important. We're gonna continue back in here. The base path, awesome. The bases sit flush. And how is this for an emblem of our Husky dog? Okay, branded exactly the way Yukon would have it, completely blended into the field turf right in through here. How awesome did it look from the overhead to be able to stand on it? One of the favorite things to do is to take you through a rough finished area that's actually going to be key to the project. In this area here, we're just coming off of the baseball bleachers right in through here. And just to show you the organization that we have in here. The soccer field right in through here. Soccer bleachers up against the building we talked about in the overhead, okay. The end behind the goal, bleachers back in through there. You see the other bleachers on the other side of the soccer field through here set of bathrooms right in front of us. How key is that for the facility? And we can't forget the concession stand. Now we have a ground heating machine going on right through here, right? We're at the end of November, we've got slab pours coming up. This will be the concession stand right in through here. This is gonna be an all concrete plaza area. So I'm standing here, soccer, our ice rink, ice arena and the baseball field right here. Most of the building construction is brick. This area right through here, this is going to be our main entrance in through the into the building in through here. You know, hence you can see why the block walls stop through there. But this area in here is going to be one of our our storefront areas in through here, our curtain walls right in through here. There's going to be two-story glass up in through here. This corridor that comes down, we have two main corridors here. 
access through the building the way the steel juts off over here we're going to come back to here there'll be a set of stairs that come up through here and again this glass is two stories high when you're on our second floor of the building we can't go up there now the iron workers still working to make that area safe but this you'll be able to see down you'll be on the second floor in this area here and to be able to see the baseball field this wall here close to the field this will all be brick in through this section right in here so if a baseball happens to fly over the fence over and through here there will be no damage to the building we'll look back on the field over through here we're going to step into the interior here we talked about our ground heating that's exactly what this this is um, glycol through a garden hose system that goes through a boiler in through here this tall bay area through here this is our indoor batting lanes in through here I believe there's three batting lanes in this space hence why we have the tall um, trusses in through here our corridor continues down this way all right we move over here we have our hydro therapy pools in this section right in through here all our mechanical rooms over in this section through here all right lockers 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 all separated down in through this section one of our key points to the building is our strength and fitness area right through here we'll take a step into here we get a chance we call these slab on grades they're getting ready to be placed in here. Yellow is the vapor barrier. Red is the tape. All the equipment, electrical boxes that are in here. So our strength and fitness training. Full two stories high in through here. We talked about on the front, our glazing. All the way along the front in this bay and right through here. And this section here also gets two story. Uh, glazing in through here, a curtain wall. Right in through here. This will be full glass up in this area right in through here. So incredible. Now remember, all this section is bleachers to the soccer field down in through here. And you can almost see the corridor, as I was mentioning, back in through the building in through here. And to step back in time to explain the construction. As we walked across the pitcher's mound, I had mentioned the substructure was concrete. Now we're in the bullpen pitching mounds, right? We have three right here. You get a chance to see again. So having a concrete substructure, it stays in the shape, same shape all the time. There's a pad that goes on here so you don't feel the concrete. We can see the uh, rubber, the mounts are installed. So we have two means of fastening our turf. Over in the bullpen, we have a fastened wood section right in here that, that holds it in place in the field we had a concrete curb around the whole section but the short story is our base it's all stone that you see in here it gets rakes it gets it gets shot with a laser to the exact levelness required compactor goes over the top of this makes it smooth and tight then the turf goes on top of that and then the binding infill on the turf that locks it all together the soccer field I know but you can see almost our roadway, the bleachers in this section right in down through here. I showed you in the overhead up against Fridis, our ice arena over in through here. We talked about in the overhead, the bleachers here. Right? These are our big sauna tubes. Anytime we see these sauna tubes in here, okay. Our strength and fitness in through here. You can almost see the way the steel lines in on our second floor. The bleachers come up not quite to the second floor, but you can see the openings where the steel, I mean where the windows are going to be, right in through here. That's tube steel we call up to the top in through here. You know, our hanging angle iron in through here and then back in through here. So this is going to be all glass. On top of the glass, our signage will go up in here. The name of the field will go right up on in through here. We have this overhang right in here, protection. Again, this video was shot November 23rd, 2019 and edited and posted on December 3rd. Remember to subscribe to our UPDC YouTube channel. At the bottom in red here, a click on the subscribe, a second click on the bell right next to it, 
Now you'll receive an automatic email every time we add a video to this site. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.